Dear learners, today we will discuss about a broad group of secondary metabolites, terpenoids. Terpenoids are basically a secondary metabolite widely distributed in nature, uh, mostly in plant kingdoms and also in, in animal kingdom. Chemically, they are the derivatives of oligomer of isoprene unit C5H8. So, these are the oligomer generally consist of 2, uh, 3, 4, uh, 5, uh, 6 units of uh, this isoprene unit, isoprene units is none other than this structure C5H8, which chemically we can say this one is 2 methyl 1, 3, 3 butadiene. So, this is 2 methyl 1, 3 butadiene, and these are the unit of this terpenoids. And sometimes we use the term terpene and terpenoids simultaneously. Uh, terpenes are the hydrocarbon and terpenoids are basically the they are derivatives of this hydrocarbon oxygenated derivatives of hydrocarbon. Terpenoid hydrocarbons are classified um, according to the number of isoprene units present in their structure. So, if one uh, isoprene unit is present we call it hemiterpene. One isoprene unit means that is uh, hemiterpene means that is only isoprene unit. It consists of the 5 carbon and the molecular formula is C5H8. In nature, this uh, isoprene unit is not available in a free state and they always try to couple with another isoprene unit to form the next category of isoprene unit that is monoterpene. Monoterpene consists of uh, two isoprene units uh, where the carbon number is 10 and the molecular formula c 10 a 16 and their derivatives. Example of monoterpenes are myrcenes and citral. Depending upon the carbon chain, they may be uh, acyclic, monocyclic, or uh, bicyclic types of monoterpenes are available. Sesquiterpene, sesqui means one and a half. It consists of a three isoprene units. So carbon number is uh, 15, C15H24. Examples are the cadenin and gamma bisabolin. Diterpenes are the terpenoids which consist of four isoprene units and the number of carbon is 20. So, molecular formula is C20H32. Examples are manul, abiotic acids. Triterpenes are the terpenoids that consist of a three, a six isoprene units and the number of carbon is 30. Uh, molecular formula is C30H48. Examples are squalene and lanosterol. In this triterpenes are the gateway of several steroidal compounds. And tetraterpene um, consists of uh, 8 isoprene units and the number of carbon is C40, molecular formula C40A64. Uh, carotenoids, alpha, beta, gamma carotenes, lycopenes, this is the example of the tetra tetraterpene. In 1887, German chemist Otto Walsh uh, recognized that fundamental unit of the 5 carbon atom could be connected in different way is to produce varieties of the carbon atom arrangement found in monoterpene and sesquiterpene. He first uh, mentioned that these terpenoids are the made up of this isoprene units and that was um, actually also present in the different perfumes and that are present in the rubber itself. The pyrolysis of rubber uh, results the uh, presence of uh, isoprene units and that is the first um, recognition of this isoprene units. In the year 1953, another Nobel laureate, uh, Leopold Ruzika, uh, um, he was actually the a Croatian Swiss uh, chemist who explained that terpenoids can be visualized as the result of linking isoprene units head to tail to form the chain uh, which can be arranged to form the rings. So, biogenetic isoprene rule suggested that the isoprene units attach together by head to tail condensation to form this um, several number of uh, 
terpenoids or terpene derivatives. However, that arrangement is not always true. Several arrangements can be possible. So, isoprene units here you can see the, um, the uh, formation of head to head or one to one linkage of these two isoprene units that can be possible. Similarly, head and this is one is the tail of another isoprene unit. So, one fold linkage can be possible. And these are the tail of one isoprene unit and tail of another isoprene unit. So, four fold linkage can be possible to form the uh, ol oligomer of these isoprene units in a form of uh, monoterpenoids, squiterpenoids, diterpenoids, triterpenoids. However, these biogenetic rules or this type of arrangement is not always possible for the cyclic compounds and uh, several other terpenoids. So, these are the exception of the biogenetic isoprene rule and these isoprenes are uh, naturally uh, produced in plants body uh, by, by um, through biosynthesis and the initial precursor of this biosynthesis is actually acetate and this acetate via mevalonate um, and uh, forming the isopentyl pyrophosphate and dimethyl allyl pyrophosphate that is further converted into giranyl pyrophosphate to form the monoterpenoids and so on. So, this this is important. So, mevalonic, mevalonate and acetate pathway is very important for this, uh, for the biosynthesis or biogenesis of this uh, particular um, terpenoid group. And these terpenoids uh, in nature is available in different form. They are available in a form of a volatile oil, mm, a mixture of different terpenoids. They are available in a derivatives of terpenoids in a resin form that are also available in a form of a vitamin A. They are available in a form of rubber. Uh, they are also available in a form of cholesterol and they are available in a form of uh, carotenoids. Here you can see the uh, structure of the different terpenoids. This is a uh, monoterpenoid. Uh, medicine. This one is um, cadenine, so squiterpenoids, diterpenoids, abiotic acid, triterpenoids, qualine, acyclic triterpenoids, qualine, and this is uh, beta carotene tetraterpenoids. Thank you and happy learning.